Hi, my name's Lee, and this is ETA, where I tell you about the activities that I use to teach English. Okay, so today's activity is a paired activity, and all you're going to need is a worksheet and a pencil. Okay, so for this activity, you're going to need a worksheet. Now, this is one that I made when I did this in my class. If you go to the, uh, the link in the description, you can find this actual sheet in the Google Drive. Uh, but if you want to, it's very easy just to make your own. Okay, so how do you make your own sheet? Well, you're going to need to find pictures for each of the target phrases or target words that you want your students to study. Uh, this activity works best with uh, small phrases. It's not so good with long sentences. So it's good for uh, verbs or nouns. Uh, this was um, verbs here. So this was actually studying I can something something. Um, but I think when we did this, we were just doing the verb and the activity. So it was cook, um, play baseball, uh, swim, ride a unicycle, play the piano. So you can make this really easily. You just need a picture that you've used to teach the target language to your students. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a worksheet like this that has three copies of each picture. So on this sheet here, there are three pictures of a little boy playing with a kendama. There's also three pictures of the students swimming. So it's going to take a little bit of preparation, but it shouldn't take so too long to do it. Uh, you could just go into um, a program like PowerPoint and just copy paste three times, boom, and you're done. Okay, so how does this activity work? There's actually a couple of ways to do this. And the one I'm going to tell you now is the one that I don't use so much, but this is kind of the original uh, way that was shown to me. So I'm going to tell you the original way that I was shown to do this. And then in another video, I will show you my way of doing it. Okay, so haha, you're gonna have to watch another video if you want to see my way. But how this works is you pair the students up and they each have a pencil. You have them place the paper on the desk between them. Now they don't have one each, they have one between the two of them. Okay, they place the pencil down too and they put their hands on their head. The teacher then says one of the pictures, so maybe swim. And then the students, when they hear this, they repeat the word swim. And then the, the teacher gives them a go signal. Maybe they hit a bell or they clap their hands or they say go. The students pick up the pencils and they race to try and circle the pictures. Now, because there's two of them, one of the students is going to need a colored pencil and the other student can have a normal pencil. That way they can keep track of how many they have circled. But there's only three pictures. So one student will get two pictures and one student will get one. Or maybe one student will get three pictures and the other student will get zero. So it's a race to see how many pictures the students can circle. This is a really exciting game and the students really get into it. But it can get a little bit aggressive with the boys. So just make sure you keep an eye on that and keep control of them. So once again, just to go over this, you have two students, one paper, and each of the students has a pencil. One will have a colored pencil, the other one will have a normal pencil. They place the paper down on the desk, pencils down and hands on their head. The teacher will say one of the target words on the paper, maybe play soccer. The students repeat that and then you give them a go signal, they pick up the pencils and they look to circle the three soccer players. One, two, three. Okay. And then you repeat this over and over. Then at the end, the students total up how many circles they got on the page and you decide who the winner is and then you reward them accordingly in your class. As I said, uh, just a point, for keeping control. This game can get exciting and the boys can get a bit aggressive sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they try to steal the paper away or they try to block out the other students. So just be aware that that's something you're gonna need to keep an eye on when you do this during the class. 
Okay, that's the end of today's video. Hopefully this activity is something you can use in your English class. If you think it is, please give me a like. If you use it, please write a comment below and tell me how you got on with the activity. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, you can hit the round subscribe button in the middle here. And as always, all the worksheets that I use are available for free download from the ETA Google Drive. And I will see you next time.